Hello, this is Colonel Steve Akeley of the ABV Network, and you're watching one of our original videos that we've created for you. We're doing this each and every day. If you want to make sure that you never miss out on this original content, please hit the subscribe button down below. And also, if you'd like this video, it helps new people find our content, which is pretty important to us. And now, on to today's video. Quick thank yous. Um, Lundy's, Alyssa, wherever you are in the team. Thank you guys for doing this. Greg, IGA team, you guys are amazing. Um, Natalie, I don't know where you are. I love you. Thank you for keeping us organized. Um, Scout and Scholar, we had the best time brewing this beer if you've not tasted it. Um, it's called Stay Tuned. We decided not to do bourbon because we haven't made any yet. Um, <laughs> I'm going to forget. Let me just... We're only about six years away. So <laughs> if, if you have your way, four to six. If I have my way, six to eight. We'll see what happens. Um, quick, um, Jamie and Ian, who are our creative folks. So this is officially, Potter Jane is officially our name. We... <laughs> uh, there was a lot of arguing and bickering. If you know us, you get it. Um... But Jamie and Ian, thank you for creating a beautiful logo and making it so fun in the process. Um, we're standing on the middle of our distillery. Our distillery will go here. Denny's going to chat. But there were a few people that really brought this to life because we fell in love with this location early days. And if it weren't for Tony Royalty being so kind and so generous to sell us his back 100 acres, um, Hamilton and Elaine Sims for giving us the 13 acres to get over from the industrial park and Daniel Carney and all the folks here in Springfield who welcomed us and helped us figure it all out. Um, so just want to make sure we say thank you to the right people. And then all of you, this, we did not want, we wanted a party with our friends and family to just basically have a moment to kind of celebrate the grind and where we're going in the dream. And you guys are all here because you've helped us. We're not here without you all. So we love you. Thank you. Um, you want to talk now? <laughs> hard for the course. It is hard for the course. So, I mean, you know, one of the things it's, you know, collectively we have over 40 years experience in the industry. And, you know, when you have, you know, in our industry, it's the greatest industry in the world, without a doubt. And, you know, I think that's a testament to some of the people you'll see here that are here celebrating with us that are from other distilleries. But, you know, Jane and I probably started working together, I think it was 2007 when she came on at, at Makers. And, you know, it's always, everybody always talks about doing your own thing, right? Like building a distillery, creating your own brand. And it's, it's a lot of fun to talk about. But when the rubber hits the road and you start to get serious about, well, can we do this? Should we do this? <laughs> it's it gets to be a little intense and you know it was one of those things that you know we i don't know if you know i know pat and shane with wilderness trail are here somewhere they said they were going to come um but you know just they've been great friends of ours and you know just talking to them about what they did with wilderness talking with Buzigs and the blinkos about building distilleries and what it takes to do that and costs uh meeting with the truest team you know cody and calvin and joe i mean all of these were literally like conversations. We're like, we're crazy, but let's just have one more conversation, right? And all of that led to one more conversation. And next thing you know, we're talking to Daniel, you're right? Daniel Carney that, that helps us. Well, Jim Willett, why don't we, Jim's around here. Jim somewhere. had a separate so, speech with some stories coming. Yeah, Jim heard this pitch. He was the very first one to hear the pitch. Two feet of snow, yeah. stumbled home and helped us figure yeah, it out. Yeah, we drank till three in the morning and then yeah, Jim helped facilitate the conversations with Washington County, but literally everybody was, this is interesting, let's keep talking, let's keep, you know, let's keep the momentum going. And then, you know, next thing you know, we've got, you know, 153 acres, uh, we literally kick off, you know, the process of design. So, you know, like the Buzik's team that we're working with, I mean, you know, they come into this, you talk about a team that, you know, has really been assembled the last seven or eight years. and and Logan's here somewhere. He's our project manager with Buzik's. But it's a team that literally can come in and start from scratch and help you build a distillery. And we know a lot about distilleries, but it's a whole other ball game when you talk about building distilleries. But what's been great about the team is it's been fun. 
we probably spend more time laughing than we do like really serious and in the weeds. Laughing and, at you. Well, I mean, whatever. Um, so, you know, it's just, it's just been an incredible process and they've made it easy and they've made it, you know, a lot of fun to do, but they've also given us the confidence to go do it. So that's kind of how we've ended up right here. So basically, like I said, we're on 153 acres. The distillery is going to sit on this plot right here. It's a little bit elevated. It's going to be facing that direction. So when you look at the renderings, you can kind of see the way it's going to work. We've got three warehouses. They're going to sit at the front of the property. And then the remaining, you know, probably 11, 12 warehouses are going to be on the back side of the property here. So we're really on the front one third of the property. Uh, and then we got a whole nother two thirds that go back this way. So, you know, the unbelievable thing about building distilleries is you're never done building ever, right? The distillery goes up, but you know, we're, we're putting in a 36 inch column system. So we're going to be making about 45,000 barrels a year. We're doing 24,000 barrel warehouses. We're building two before we're operational. Well, that's 48,000 barrels. What's that tell you? We got to be working on warehouse three, four, and five immediately. A lot of math. So these are things you literally have to create. I know it's tough for you. For some of this. Work in Excel. I've never worked in Excel. I don't need to. So, but you got to create these 10, you know, these 10, 15 year plans. And yeah, I mean, it's just pretty phenomenal, but we've just been very lucky to have the team, you know, that we've worked with. So I'm going to tell a quick story because we're wearing these shirts um, and on the back, I don't know if you've seen it, it says breaking ground and taking names and there's a not graphic, it's kind of a Disney version of a dead deer on the back of this shirt. So the first day we come out to see this property, the grass is kind of high, we're with Cody, uh, which I don't know where Cody Matthews is, he's our friend and banker at Truist. Uh, thank you, Cody. We love you. And we're with Jim Willett, who is our logger, friend, neighbor, everything to us. And none of this happens without Jim. And the four of us are in Denny's truck driving on uh, the Sims property down the road. And the grass is high and there's deer jumping everywhere. Every time we come out here, we see deer everywhere. And Denny says, oh my gosh, I hope I don't hit a deer. And about that moment, we hear boom, boom. And he's like, what was that? And we hear this cry come out. It sounded um, like this. It's fine. So I grew, I grew up, my dad is here somewhere. I grew up in a deer hunting house. Jim grew up in a hunting house. Cody grew up in a hunting house. I think Denny did not grow up in a hunting house. So Denny's like, oh my gosh. I'm like, you got to turn around and run over it. Like you have to, right? Am I right? Raise your hand if I'm right. I'm right. You got to go put it out of its misery. Denny's like, I can't do it. I can't do it. Jim and Cody are trying not to laugh. Denny's upset. It's a whole thing. So fast forward a few weeks, we're kicking off the project with Donald and the music team. And Donald says, we got to have a name for this project. Well, it just happened. Denny actually couldn't be there that day. Something came up. We decided to keep the meeting. So I'm like, it has to be Project Bambi because Denny ran over this deer the first day we're here. So the email comes out that night from the team at Joseph and Joseph and the title is Project Bambi. So Denny Cole who was like, are you serious? <laughs> so coming to you in the spring of 2035 will be a fallen fawn bottled in bond for sure. <laughs> but um, that's... That's what they wanted to name the distillery. I so wanted to name God, the distillery fallen fawn. We got water too. <laughs> yeah. Right, didn't, yeah, didn't feel right. No. So anyway, um, thank you all for coming. The beer we designed, it's actually a Belgian table beer. Um, it's a style of beer, less alcohol. It's meant to be traditionally drank with family and friends over a supper table. And we felt like it was fitting for today. Um, so we hope you like the beer. Um, if not, Denny pitched the yeast, so it's probably your fault. Um, but anyway, do you want to... Do you want to make a quick toast? Yeah, just real quick. Everybody, we do have food back there. So if you haven't grabbed food, we've got Greg's cooked up some fried chicken and all the sides. So make sure you get some food. We're going to be hanging out till at least 730 or until Lee and Matthew run out of beer. So we might be here till 730 tomorrow morning. Um, but no, I mean, I think this is hopefully like the first of many cheers, right? Um, and again, it's, you know, with this beer that we brewed, which was a lot of fun. I got really drunk that day. Uh, if, as Jane said, I don't remember pitching the yeast, but 
It we was apparently fantastic. We, we said I did. Fantastic. Um, but anyway, so this is our first cheers. It's with beer. It's with all of our friends at Scout and Scholar. You know, in the future, we can't wait to do one with the distillate, with the finished whiskey, but this is the first of many. Cheers. So cheers. 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 Do you want to say something? All right, Bebo, he's going to say something real quick.